avocado and ice cream sounds like an unlikely pair but it works really well. And the reason it works so well is because avocados are so creamy, so we get a beautiful silky finish. Now you need two very ripe avocados for this and we're just going to cut them in half and take out the pip. And now we're going to scoop all of this flesh into a food processor. So scooping the avocado flesh straight into that bowl. The best way to ripen your avocados if they're not as ripe as you'd like them and you want to speed up the process is just to pop them in your fruit bowl with the bananas. They'll ripen up really, really quickly. Another trick is to place them in a paper bag and they'll also ripen up much faster. Okay, now that the avocado flesh is in the food processor, we need to add some zest and I love the addition of lime zest. So one lime that I'll grate directly into the food processor and I also need the juice of the lime too. This is almost like a tropical ice cream and did I mention you don't need an ice cream maker to make this. This just goes straight into the freezer. So we'll just cut that in half. And then the best way to get that juice out is just to get a spoon and squeeze the centre of the lime so we don't waste it. That is a really, really juicy lime. And the second half, straight in. Okay, before we start adding some more ingredients, I just want to blend this until it's really smooth. that looks good. It almost looks like guacamole but don't be fooled because now we're going to add the sugar element to this which is condensed milk. Now I need 200 millilitres of condensed milk. That is like pure sugar and this is the trick. This condensed milk is going to make it super shiny and not crystallise when it's frozen. So again I'm going to blitz that and then I'll add the cream. Now I'm just combining this, we don't need to over whip it at this stage, we just want that avocado to mix with the condensed milk. Oh look at that, super glossy. Now for the cream, I want 300 millilitres, so a whole carton of thickened cream and we'll just pour that directly in there. And I leave this to this stage because if you add it at the beginning what will happen is it'll over whisk and it'll split. We just want this to be really light and fluffy. So we'll whisk that along with a pinch of cinnamon. I love the combination of cinnamon and avocado, it works so well together. Also a pinch of salt and that's going to bring the avocado flavour out, just a small amount. And now we're going to whip this for about 30 seconds to a minute, keep an eye on it though. Okay, this is thickened up a bit and that is just fantastic. It looks great. I'm just gonna have a taste now just to make sure there's enough lime juice in there and there's enough cinnamon. Oh, that is such a great combination. I love it. Now, this is fantastic as is and you can freeze it. However, I want some texture in this and I'm going to get that from desiccated coconut. So about three quarters of a cup of desiccated coconut and lid can go on and just on a really low speed we just want to fold this in. Okay, that is done. So you'll need a one litre container just like this one and we'll just pour in our avocado and using a spatula I'll just pour that in. Look at that gorgeous pale green colour. So now I'm just going to spread it out so it's quite even. And then just for some extra assurance so it doesn't crystallise over the top and get a bit too icy, just a bit of cling film. And I'll just pop that just so it touches the surface of the avocado ice cream. And the lid can go on. We're going to place that in the freezer ideally overnight or at least five hours. Okay, the ice cream has come out of the freezer, so now it's time to have a little taste. And I'll just take that cling film off. You can see that it's nice and firm. And I've just got a little 
bowl of hot water here just to make it easier. And instead of serving this in a cup, I'm gonna use a good old cone. I love cones and I want a nice, generous amount of this ice cream on the top. Look at this, you can see how creamy it is and I haven't even churned it and that's what the thickened cream, the avocado and that condensed milk will do together. Okay, I'll add one. I think I'll definitely need another scoop. And second scoop, just sitting on top. Wow, look at that. I'm so happy with avocado ice cream. You know what, make this for your friends and family. Don't tell them it's avocado, let them guess what it is. They'll absolutely love it and they'll also be shocked that it's avocado in ice cream. Who would have thought? Mmm, delicious.